My name's Jeff Makarevich, and welcome to Wine and Dine with Jeff, where I'll make a healthy dinner from start to finish and pair it with wines from around the world. Let's fill up that glass. Hi, I'm Jeff Makarevich, and welcome to Wine and Dine with Jeff. Today, we're doing a salmon stir-fry. It is so delicious and healthy, and you have it on the table in a matter of minutes, and I'm pairing it with this French Beaujolais. You will definitely love it, but I'll tell you a little bit about the wine a little later. I have this beautiful piece of salmon here, fresh salmon I'm using right now. Make sure there is no pin bones in the salmon, very important. Uh, no skin, no pin bones, and I'm gonna cut this into bite-sized pieces. So, bite-sized pieces, because we are gonna stir-fry this. If you'd like, I mean, you could uh, keep it in one large piece if you'd like, but I'm cutting this into nice, large, bite-sized chunks to easily stir fry. So we are done. Let's put that in our bowl here. And our quick, easy marinade. Very easy, as a matter of fact. We have a little bit, of, and all the exact ingredients are right down below in the description center. We have a little bit of sesame oil that we put in, and a little bit of mirin. And if you don't know what mirin is, it is a wine, a Japanese wine that is a sweet wine. It's a cooking wine. And then we also have tamari we're putting in, which is just like a soy sauce. But um, I just like the flavor of the tamari so much better than uh, the soy sauce. But if you have soy sauce, just use it. Don't go out and buy the tamari. So very easy, easy marinade. We're gonna let that go for half an hour. So let's just start on our vegetables. So while this is marinating, we could start cutting up our vegetables. Okay, we have our vegetables all cut except one. I want to show you this mushroom here. This is a Bunum Shimiji mushroom. It's a Japanese mushroom. A lot of you might not be familiar with it. So I'll show you how it works. It's a beach mushroom is how they call it in Japan. And you just pull it apart like so. And as you see, there is a semi root there that you want to take off. So just take your knife down through and take that off. Don't throw that out, that's good for stock, right? So uh, I love to make vegetable stock, so this is perfect for vegetable stock. We'll be saving that for later. And look how they separate into beautiful little pieces. Um, if you cannot find these Buna Shimiji, the beach mushroom, and they call them the beach mushrooms because they grow on the beech trees uh, in Japan there. Um, if you cannot find these, trumpet mushrooms are good to use because these have a nice little chewy consistency to them when you stir fry them up. I have some snow peas, some red pepper, yellow pepper, um, and we have sliced garlic, and we have a Fresno chili for some heat, and of course some ground ginger. So. Our salmon is just about finished marinating. Let's get that on the grill. Our salmon is finished marinating. Now let's get them in a, a non-stick pan here, not the wok. That's what I'll tell you about. I have some great seed oil in there. And this is just on a medium. Because of the mirin and the tamari, if you put them on a medium high or a high, it will burn because of the sugars. So we just want to do this on a medium and let this go, depending on the thickness of your salmon, about three minutes each side to maybe four. Depends on how you like it. I love my salmon nice and pink. But this I took through my test kitchen and in the wok, the salmon broke apart. So uh, it was a little too rough, so I decided to take it to a non-stick skillet. 
sear it off first to that perfect consistency that you want, and then we walk the vegetables and add the salmon afterwards. So we'll just let that go, flip it over, and get it to perfection. Now it's time to flip. It's only been three minutes, but take a look at the salmon. And if you could see the opaque color coming up on the side, when it gets to a little less than halfway through, you want to take the salmon and, and give it a flip. So that's what we'll do right now. And see, look at the beautiful caramelization we got going on this already with, with just of on a medium heat. We pulled the salmon out of the pan. Now we've got our wok here and let's get some garlic and our Fresno chilies in there with a little bit of that fresh ginger that we ground up. Now we have this on a medium right now. And a trick on walk, if you keep things moving around, it doesn't burn. <coughs> Woo! I just got a, a big scent of that fresh ginger right up in my nose. <laughs> and it was good. Um, so we're going to just let that move around just for a minute, not too long. And then while that's going on, I want to tell you about this Beaujolais that we're pairing this dinner with. It is a French grape. It's actually a Gamay grape is the name of the grape. And, mm, wow, it has notes of black cherry and, and blackberry. And it's very, very light, very little tannins. It will just go perfectly with this. Everything will just balance everything out. Now take a look at that garlic and that ginger. Now those spices from that Fresno chili just put a nice little heat in that oil right now. So now it's time to get the rest of our veggies in there. So we're going to put in our trumpet mushrooms. Trumpet? Did I say trumpet the beach mushrooms? Excuse me. They almost look like trumpet, don't they? And uh, I've got our peppers, our red and our yellow pepper, and we got our snow peas right on in and let's just toss them around toss them around in that and the oil we had in the pan to heat everything up was a grape seed oil along with a sesame oil the sesame oil remember i gave you the tip of all dark oils uh, they do not have a sm high smoke point so i put the grape seed for two reasons, because it's light and it will bring up the temperature of the sesame oil. So we're just going to let these go for a few minutes. Not long at all. I do like crunchy, crunchy veggies, right? Don't we all? If you want to go for a little bit longer with your veggies, you can take them as long as you want. And this is what's so customizable. If you don't like the veggies I used, you could use broccoli, just whatever you want to use. And to that right now, we're going to add the mirin in, a little more mirin. And that is, a cook, once again, the cooking wine, which is a sweet cooking wine. And we're going to add the tamari, a little more tamari right on in. And remember, these do have a high sugar content. So you don't want to put these in until about the last two minutes of cooking. I'm going to turn up the heat on this. Um, because what it will do, it will start to burn in the pan. So that's very important. And our last thing that is going in, along with our salmon, is our hoisin. This is this a beautiful, beautiful barbecue sauce. And uh, a Japanese, well, a barbecue sauce that is thick and rich. And that's why I put the other flavors in there to thin it out. The mirin and the tamari will thin out this barbecue sauce. So a little bit of the barbecue sauce. Once again, all the exact measurements are right down below in the description center for you. Look at that. That looks delicious. Okay. And the last thing I'm going to grab is I cut 
up a little bit of scallions. Let me reach across. Scallions right into the pan. And then we're going to add our salmon right back in. And this is where you want to do very, very delicate. And toss the salmon ever so slightly so you don't break it up. Look at that. Take a look at that. Is that beautiful? Look at the colors. Look at everything there. That is one tasty, healthy stir fry. Now let me plate that up. And you can plate that with rice, basmati rice. Or if you're like me, I just love to eat the salmon and veggies. So let me plate it up. I would first like to thank all my subscribers. And if you're not yet a subscriber, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my recipes. And don't forget to pair it with this beautiful Beaujolais from France. But I can't wait to dig in here. Oh yes, the salmon stir fry came out. Perfection! Okay. Oh! I knew that. Look how moist it was. It just fell right apart into pieces. Mmm. Mm, 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 wow. You get a little bit of that sesame oil and, and the murin and a little bit of that barbecue. That is amazing. I can't wait for you guys to try this healthy and delicious salmon stir fry. And we'll see you next week.